Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're taking a look at the WatchOS 6 developer beta. This was announced earlier this week at WWDC, and now there is a developer beta. Um, I made a video about iOS 13 and iPadOS 13, and I made a video about macOS 10.15 Catalina. I recommend that you do not install them. And I would say the same thing about this, but you actually need to install iOS 13 to get WatchOS 6. And to get iOS 13, you need the macOS beta. So by the time you get to watchOS 6, I'm pretty sure you 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 know what you're in for. Although the, the one thing that you want to be aware of when installing a watchOS beta is that you can't roll back. Um, with any other system, tvOS, iOS, iPadOS, macOS, there's an easy way to at least do a factory reset of your system. You can't do that with watchOS. Uh, you got to take it to an Apple store if you want to roll back. So once you're there, you're there until it ships this September. So just be aware of that. Now, like I said, you do need iOS 13 to get watchOS 6. So um, while this does officially support everything that WatchOS 5 supported, um, which is the Apple Watch Series 1 and later, um, you need an iPhone 6S or later to get iOS 13. So if you're using your Apple Watch with um, an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 5S, um, you won't get this update. Now, let's move on to what's actually new. Uh, we have a, a few new watch faces here. Um... California is a new one. Um, yeah, uh, all these you can customize and you can add uh, complications if you go to the circular view. Complications are usually not supported. Um, well, additional complications, I guess. Uh, you can change the color of this one. All right, white, blue. Ah, apparently just black, white, and blue. But let's go back and see what else. That's not new. Fire and water is not new. Gradient's new. Okay, so we can look. We can change the style. All right, that's kind of fun. Uh, change it to full screen. And then, of course, complications not selectable in full screen mode. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, modular compact. This one's new. And, of course, this is all about the complications. All right, you can change the colors around, do all that. Um, there is another modular one, and this is just kind of a different different take on it. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so let's go back. Let's see what else we got. Numerals. We can customize this with different stuff. All right, I'm not a big fan of the look. Numerals Duo, Numerals Mono. Uh, there's a new Pride one, which I assume is only there for uh, Pride Month. They didn't actually... Um, announce it as a new watch face. So there's Pride Analog and there's Pride Digital. And I'm sure mo most of us have seen uh, some pictures of this out there. So we also have Solar Dial, which is kind of cool. We can customize this a little bit. Um, analog, Digital, you can change the uh, the complications there. And that's, that's our new watch faces. So there's a slightly different design if you go into list view here which uh, list view was introduced either last year or the year before I'm not not sure but um, this is just the worst this is a uh, grid view and then you can easily go to uh, if you force touch to go to list view but it looks a little different now uh, it seems like the text is a little bit bigger um, yeah so that's fine just a slightly different UI change we have the App Store on Apple Watch now for the first time. And so now we can just use that and we can just get our apps through there and it's gonna download apps. Uh, that's not actually the, the home screen. So there's an issue. I, I had to, uh, this is the first time I downloaded, um, this is the first time I downloaded an app on the watch and it tells me that I've already authorized five computers, which is an issue usually with iTunes. You can still make purchases on this computer, but you will need to transfer them to an authorized machine or device to play them. Um, but we're just going to say bye. So this is the App Store on watchOS. And um, it really, it, it does a lot to make um, the Apple Watch a more standalone device. And it is, it's particularly cool because if they wanted to, they could add Android support for iOS now because that's how uh, uh, Wear OS works with iOS devices. They have their own Google Play Store. So um, 
it's just pretty cool that this is here now. Okay, so a little bit of issue with authenticating there. Um, audiobooks is a new app, and I do not have any any audiobooks that I've purchased from Apple. Uh, if we go into my library, there's nothing there. There's I use Audible, and the Apple Watch app is just terrible. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'll start buying them from Apple. But, yeah, there's an audiobooks app, so you can now play all of your audiobooks. Calculator's new. We could do all of our calculator things here. If we punch in a number, like 999, and we hit tip, it's going to tell you how much um, you can do with uh, a 15% tip, or you can adjust it with the digital crown. and then, Or you could adjust the amount of people, if we just adjust that and then it'll tell you um, how many how much per person all right so that's that's pretty nifty um, you'll notice is also this is a new feature cycle tracking uh, so this is for for tracking menstrual cycles and you could do a lot here I haven't set it up because I'm not a um, woman uh, you need to um, you know you track your current period flow symptoms uh, results from ovulation prediction kits um, and Apple said other elements of fertility tracking, which is pretty cool. Um, the app is supposed to be for women, and when you set up an Apple Watch, it does ask you if you're male or female, um, but it seems to install it either way when you install WatchOS 6, at least at this time. Remember, it's just a developer beta. It might work differently um, when we see the final version in September. Uh, what else do we have? We just have a bunch of new apps on here. There's, there's Watch Faces, there's... Um, by the way, there's the new app that I just installed, Headspace, so it's it's there. Over here we have the Noise app. So this is interesting, and and it's it's meant to warn you if you're in spaces that are too loud, like uh, concerts or any any kind of events or anything. So this is just the the level of noise that I'm talking at right now. We got 77 decibels, and if you if you if it goes over 90, it'll send you an alert. So the idea is that if you're you know long-term exposure to sounds at this level I'm at right now won't affect my hearing so that's great um, but if it goes over that it will warn you which is kind of cool I don't know if it needs to <laughs> the thing about adding so many apps is that that it feels lot like there's an app for everything when it it maybe it should just be uh, built-in functionality to the watch like maybe noise should be a thing in settings rather than its own app because everything seems to be its own app See, like, like the now playing app, that's that's actually uh, new. Uh, but um, wait, let's go back. Um, another, another thing that's new is voice memos. This is something that's that's been on iPhones for uh, a few years now, and now you could just record your voice memos on your watch, which seems to be much more convenient than than um, having to pull out your phone. So that's that's kind of cool. A uh, couple other things that are new. There's there's not. A whole lot else. Um, you'll be able. To, there's a new streaming audio API, so more services will be able to stream audio, uh, similar to the way that that Apple Music already does. Another thing is that Siri queries can now show web page results, and this is actually kind of interesting because remember, there's no browser on here. There's no Safari, but if we say, um, "What's the next operating system after Windows 10?" Right, so, that's, so it found some things on the web, all right, and if we can say open page, and it's actually going to pull up a, a Safari view, and last time I did this, it took a little longer, and, and we have a whole article on our Apple Watch, which uh, we've not been able to do before, so that's pretty interesting, and I wonder where they're going with that if, if they want to uh, build a browser in at some point, because they could. Um, but that, that, that might be a little much, I think. So, who knows? Uh, but that's watchOS 6, so um, this will ship to everybody um, that, that's using their Apple Watch with an iPhone 6S or later, or anybody that's using their Apple Watch with iOS 13 will get this update, and, um, and, and as long as they had watchOS 5 before. And uh, that's it. Again, um, you know, like I said, you need iOS 13 to install the beta, and you need macOS 10.15 to install iOS 13, at least at this time, um, until the public beta ships in July. So, you probably know what you're getting into if you install this beta, but remember, 
there's no way out. <laughs> You'd have to go to an Apple store. They might tell you that you voided your warranty by installing it. Who knows? Anything could happen. Uh, just be aware if you go and install this thing that, that you know, you, you might have an experience that you don't like. I haven't had, really had any major problems with it. I haven't had any real problems with iOS 13 beta either. Um, everything seems to be in pretty good shape right now. So, um, yeah, but if you do it, you're at your own risk and you can't easily roll back. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.